This video is titled Systems of Equations and Graphing Word Problems. All right, so first thing, there are a couple key vocab that we need to know. So this chapter is all about systems of equations. Now, first thing that we've been looking at is this point where two lines or curves intersect, that point of intersection. Okay, we've been kind of looking at graphs and seeing what that means. Um, so that's called a point of intersection, and it's also called a solution to a system of equations. Okay, now, a system of equations, this is another vocab word, is when you have two equations, and they can represent a variety of different things. So you might have like these two equations, y equals 2x plus 4, y equals 5x plus 8. Okay, you might have two equations, and... Um, the solution to that, those two systems of equations is where those lines cross, or that point of intersection. Okay, it also is, like in this situation up here, this would be the solution to these two systems of equations. That point up there, it's the point of intersection. Okay, so systems of equations are when you're basically, you're working with two or more lines or situations, and you want to see like how they relate or where they how they connect or where they cross or intersect. Now, um, here's an example of a solution to a system of equations. So, I have two equations here. Those are called systems of equations because I have two of them. You can have more than that. Okay, now I graphed both of them. Okay, you can see the first, or this one right here is this one. I'll just do it in blue. And then this one up here is in yellow. So, it's already graphed. Okay, so the solution to that system is where they cross. So you see this point right here, that intersection? That's called a solution to the system. Now you can see that the point is 2 comma 2. All right, now a solution to a system of equations is a point that works in both of those e equations. So basically this point is going to work for both of these equations, not just one of them. It has to work for both. So let's see if it does work. So I'm going to plug it in. So remember, it's 2 comma 2, and remember it goes x comma y. So I'm going to plug in a 2 for the x and for the y since it's 2 comma 2. Let's work it out. So 3 times 2 is 6, minus 4 is 2. So it works in that one. Let's try this one. So 2 times 2 is 4, or negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 plus 6. That is 2. So a solution to two systems of equation is a point that works in both of them. All right, so we have a story problem that we are going to write an equation for, and then we're going to try to find the solution to this equation, or to this system of equations. So we have Aaron and we have Randall. So I'll just put, I'll just write Aaron. Okay, we'll start with him. So he had a bag of 20 Skittles, and he was eating two Skittles every minute. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can write an equation for him. So let's just use um, y for how many Skittles. Okay, so here's how many Skittles Aaron has. So he started with 20, so I have to start with 20. And he's eating, so like from those 20, if he's eating, it's subtracting two Skittles every single minute. And so I don't know how many minutes he's going to eat for, but I know he does two every single minute. I'm just going to call the minutes x. So I better actually write that y is how many Skittles he has. And the x is the number of minutes. Okay, you should always define your variables. So if you look at this, so he starts with 20 and he's eating two Skittles times however many minutes he does that for. Okay, let's go to Randall. Okay, I'll start with the same thing. So for Randall, his Skittles, he starts with 30. And he was really hungry, so he's eating four Skittles every minute. So minus 4x. So that's what Randall's doing. Okay, so now we want to know when are they going to have the same amount of Skittles after how many minutes. So we are going to actually graph these two equations to see where they cross. So this is called a system of equations. We're going to graph it. We're going to see where that point of intersection is. All right, so we're going to graph that information. I kind of got the graph set up for us already. That way we could kind of get going on it. So um, first thing I just want to point out is I put the minutes across the bottom because that's what we use for x. And then I need to know how many minutes to figure out the Skittles, so that's why the Skittles is going up and down, and I counted by twos. All right, so let's start with Aaron's equation. So I'm just going to put that in pink. So he started with 20 Skittles, and he's eating two every minute. Now if I rewrite that in slope-intercept form, 
I could write that as negative 2x plus 20. All I'm doing is rearranging it. So now I'm going to be able to graph that. So I know this is my y-intercept, so 20. I'm going to put that there. And I know the slope is negative 2, which is down 2 over 1. So I'm going to go down 2. Now, you got to be careful. I counted by 2s. So just this one jump is down 2. So down 2 over 1. There's my next point. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. Again, I'm going to go down another 2 over 1. Now, again, remember, I counted by 2s, so that's why it works. Down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. So I kind of, I'm just going to keep going for a little while. Okay, see how we're doing. All right, so there's Aaron's line. So I'm just going to kind of draw that in, put an arrow. All right, so now we need Randall's. So Randall, he started with 30 Skittles. So it was 30 minus 4x. Okay, I'm going to rewrite that. I'm going to put the x first. So really I could write it as negative 4x plus 30. Now I know my y-intercept is 30, so I'm going to come way up here. Okay, now he's eating 4 every minute, every minute, so I have to go down 4. So each line is 2, so I'm going down 2, 4, over 1. Okay, so I went down 4 over 1. Down 4 over 1. I should not have used that color. Let me just go over that quick. I'll just put it in black. All right, so we can see a little bit better. So again, down 4 over 1. Down 4 over 1. Oh, we haven't crossed yet. Down 4 over 1. Down 4 over 1. Down 4 over 1. Now you guys may have seen that it crossed right here. Okay, so that, that point of intersection, remember that is called the solution to my system of equations. That's when Aaron and Randall, they're going to have the exact same amount of Skittles left. And it looks like that point, if you kind of go down, it looks like it's 5 comma 10. So here's what that means. After five minutes, they both are going to have 10 Skittles left. Okay, so again, the solution to that system is 5 comma 10. Now that point would work in both of these equations if I plugged it in. Okay, so if I plugged in the 5 for the x, the 10 for the y, it would work for both of those. All right, so that was a quick introdu introduction to um, what a system of equation is and how you can solve a word problem by graphing. So if you need to go back and watch anything, please re-watch, just go back to the part you didn't get and re-watch.